you ask me for my name, and I say it's pronounced Mendoza. And again, the Spaniard spits it out my throat, pats me on the tongue, tells me I have been a good subject. And again, I have traded this empire back for my former one. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to confuse you. I too would like to proudly bestow a heritage, except I do not know what home I tell my children to go to. I speak English, and my abuelo's cane shakes. I speak Spanish, and an Aztec priest hugs the smallpox with his lungs. I say Nahual, and a Wicharica mother asks for her daughter back. When I say home, to whose mother am I referring? Which war am I praying to flee? Ask me of my name, and I will tell you of the first men who brought it here, how they'd unleash dogs upon the children and clothe entire villages in flames. Ask me of my name, and I will tell you how I only have it because a Spaniard stamped it into a Kashkane woman with his teeth. I'm sorry. I did not mean to bring my blood into the room. I too would like to state my presence and not hawk up a genocide. I'm sorry. I would have known my indigenous parts first, but I searched for my kin in a school book and learned only of them as the Europeans' casualty, and that I asked for a history and was handed a cup of blood. I'm sorry. I reached back across the border to find anything that has not already been buried, but most times I find America imperialized and already colonized nation. Most times I find colony stacked atop another colony. Repeatedly, a birthday cake of mass graves. So when you ask, how deep must I go to find my origins? This is not a metaphor. I mean, there's most likely a Walmart plopped upon my ancestors. I mean, in the shoveling for identity, I must unearth all the shopping malls and pipelines that have crushed it. I mean, the Spanish literally built the Mexican capital over the Aztec city and brought in it to swallow the entire lake. That each year, the city sinks whole feet into a cavity of its own making. I mean, bedrock becomes untrustworthy when it was someone else is home. Ask me of my name and I'll tell you why I do not know how to honor my existence and the holocaust that caused it in the same mouth. Ask me of my name and I'll say it's still a last thing I have left to pride in a country that does not want it here. Ask me of my name and I'll say it's pronounced Mendoza but a Wichadica woman at the top of my neck sings and cries in the same tone. It's okay love, you've survived. Now dig deeper, find me.